Are you mining Casper? If so, I expect you've been made aware of the efficiencies that have been made in the mining software that is made available to us. Today, I want to review the latest versions of LOL Miner versus G Miner as it relates to NVIDIA cards mining Casper. How well do the miners compare? Let's find out. It's important to first acknowledge that both developers have made a lot of progress over the last couple months. It's as if they were leapfrogging each other with who had the newest release. In any case, I know I appreciate their efforts. To begin, we'll take a look at mining Caspa with no overclocks. This will serve as a good reminder as to why we invest the time in tuning our cards. Today, I will be using the newest version of RaveOS. And after a few moments, the rig is up and mining Caspa at 2.2 gigahash, drawing as much as 990 watts. Is this good? For the total megahash, yes. But for the power draw, no, it's not. Next, I want to insert the clock speeds I've used before LOL Miner and G Miner changed the entire landscape to what we can expect. Here's a review of how the rig is tuned. Note the increased core clock and set power limits. Let's begin. What's nice to see is that we still hold on to the high productivity of 2.2 gigahash. And when we look at the wall meter, we see the power draw has dropped to 724 watts. This allowed us to drop over 250 watts, reducing our energy expense. In general, a positive step in the right direction. Now, let's specifically compare the two miners using the option to lock the core clock and memory speeds in software. We'll first start with LOL Miner. Note that the core has been locked to 1470, followed by the memory at 810. After a few moments, we can see that the rig's performance has dropped to 1.69 gigahash, a drop of 23%. While this is expected, what's most exciting is the reduced power draw of only 337 watts from the wall, a reduction of 53%. A huge difference, and that's probably an understatement. G Miner responded with their own update, so let's look at its performance. Again, the core and memory are respectively locked at 1470 and 810. The rig can nearly get the same performance at 1.68 gigahash, which is on par and perhaps gives credit to LOL Miner's recent claim in version 1.65a of 1.2% increase in production. What about power draw? Note the power meter at 329 watts, a nearly 2% improvement over LOL Miner. In short, the two developers are providing matched performance each with their small but unique advantage over each other. This is good and appreciated, as this has not always been the case and serves as a good example as to how competition can be a good thing. Caspa's price performance is cooling off, as we expected, and as we move forward, some people may choose to migrate to different projects. For those staying on Caspa, what miner are you using? Is there a specific reason why? Make sure to share and comment below. In the time that I have been mining, I have not seen an algorithm that has allowed for such drastic change in power draw. For that reason, Caspa has grabbed a lot of my attention over the last couple months. And I hope other projects take notice. I know the updates to LOL Miner and G Miner have been out for a bit. But if you found this video to be insightful, a hit on the like button is always appreciated. I'm finally seeing the opportunity of hitting a thousand subscribers. So if you're so inclined, becoming a new subscriber is much appreciated. Remember to be mindful of your uptime and thanks for watching.